Jesus to work for you. This guy owns everything. He owns like. What's the one across from uh, uh, Birchfield or something? Oh, the Birchfield Pet. What is that, a, a mud mud thing? It's mostly modern art. This artist is a local artist too. But this one you just mentioned, I never heard of. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another edition of Lounge Academy. My name's Howard. I'll be your cocktail pianist this evening. Joining me at the piano right now is my co-host, Mary, and home favorite lounge cadet, Frederick. He's actually the, he's actually the, the new guy, the newest guy, the newest cast member to join Lounge Academy. It's getting harder to say the new guy. Yeah, he's not new anymore. He'll always be the new guy. That's right. Until, some, until new another guy. comes along. There must be a song like that. I think there is. Someone else comes along. Mm -hmm. I love that song. Mm -hmm. If that isn't love, it'll have to do. Until, until the real thing comes along. Until the real thing comes along. He's got it. He's got it. He's a walking encyclopedia. I'll work for you. You're watching Lounge Academy. I mean, that nice. for you. This is actually the preface. It's kind of the introduction hey, the British chapter. Sings it too, or the, uh, yeah, the preface to the evening, which usually unfolds like a book. Oh, does he? He did, oh, he maybe did, he did. did old songs. Oh, he yes, did, he did. Hi, Joan Blum. I always liked him. He yeah. transitioned nicely into, into the... He was always... It's nice to see you, Joan. Fun. I mean, nice. One thing I'm and so a lot of our regular lounge cadets are... Uh, they're out of town on assignments. I had to leave so, of course, every, every uh, edition of Lounge Academy is a little bit different, a little bit surprising, especially to me. And Joan? Whereas I always hate oh, people. good. Joan finally has a Friday night free to, to hang <laughs> out. You're watching some of the sausage being made. This is where we tune in our own TV sets right here so I can oh, so I can see your tour. comments <laughs> while I'm while yes. I'm playing funny, you hang the trick yeah, is for some reason I can predict what's going to happen <laughs> I'm, I'm going to click on this and a friend that maybe it's going to make a liar out of me oh is that right did she like them and stuff she said I know Ralph you, Lauren's you, a personal you, chef. You can imagine the wild party. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, I can hear me. Imagine, but did she like working for them? Were they yeah, okay? She yeah, didn't complain. You get the real story. It takes a second to get this yeah. set up, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. Made, right? We like, I didn't see him personally when he was here, but when the Stones came here last at Mick Jagger and one of the other Stones. I well, actually, it's, with, but they it's working. The I just can't hear myself, like, which is probably a blessing. <laughs> And it's a. It turned out to be a very pleasant evening here in downtown Buffalo, Central Court Business and Government and Lounge District. I don't think he ever went through the Guru period like the Beatles. Yeah, I don't think he did. No, he didn't. Right, the way George Harrison took it. Yeah. Well, money bought a moment. Yeah. <laughs> I know. They all did that. The Maharishi. Yeah, they come <laughs> yoga. Yeah, they come are. Right, well, this, see, it made a liar out of me. I, maybe GT had something to do with it. George Apple's out there. He's our WBIG TV chief engineer. So far, so good, George. I don't see any, any complications here. And everybody's coming in. Jones here. T-Bone's here. Nice to see us here, sir. 2-5. I guess I should, uh, we should, we should begin the, the formalities, right? So just like at the uh, stock exchange, we, there's the opening bell of tonight's lounge activities. It's now officially, officially lounge time. 
Well, well the weather's certainly been changeable, uh, right, T-Bone? I came downtown this afternoon. It was nice out. Got out of the car, came in, put a few things away. Went right back out. I was going to walk out and go next door to visit T-Bone at the Statler just to check on show preparation for tonight's show. And it had turned to winter again. I had to go in and change my coat. And I went out again and changed again. I had to go in and change it again. I had the wrong tie on and everything for the, for the weather. I just, yeah, I just wasn't dressed. Barbara Fisher says hi, everybody. Hi, Barbara Fisher. She included Frederick. See, Frederick's like a regular thing. They know him. That's North Carolina. They know who he is. The opening bell was well received, and so we're reaching North Carolina. We're reaching Silver Creek. Where's Joan? Joan, where do you live? You're in, uh, are you in the South Towns? Or are you? Where does Joan Baum live, Mary? Or is she in North Buffalo with us? I forgot where they live. I remember that house already, but I forgot. I don't know. I see them at St. Anthony's, like whatever. Well, she'll probably, hopefully, volunteer that information. T-Bone lives uh, in the, in the, kind of in the South Towns. Not quite. Everything's South Towns if you go past the Statler. To me, it's the South oh. Towns. Right? If you go past the Buffalo River. Oh. Right? That's the South that's Towns. That's the South Towns? I would say that's the That's South yeah. Buffalo. Yeah, I think you're right. It's the first ward over there, right? For we discussed this endlessly at the Buffalo News what the geography was. Where it's sold exactly and where it's Lancaster and where it's Tupelo. Yeah. The boundaries are kind of fluid. That's great, George. Appreciate that. <laughs> Let's hope they stay that way. Last week we had a little bit of a technical snafu in the middle of the night and I had to reboot the computer. We lost the weird, weird stuff. Keeping my eye on that. I think, I think my motherboard needs replacing. Brand new too. Brand new in 2018. Most expensive one out there. It's probably the problem. Never get the motherboard that has the power windows and the automatic door locks. Just get the simple stuff. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I had a great, I had a great week. I got a new roof put on my shop, where we do all our set production work. So we got they got that done. Took all week. No issues, no problems. That was pretty much my week. Sorry, it wasn't wasn't more exciting like Lizzie's and Ryan and all the world travelers. Frank De Cesare's out there. Frank, I was thinking of you this week. I there's a video I'm going to send you a link to. It's some some guys doing some cool stuff with 16 millimeter film. It's, it's pretty pretty cool. See what find out, but maybe uh, Mary and Frederick had had a more interesting week to report than I. Frederick's Frederick's in the CIA, and he's he's giving us information on some of our foreign interests. We're talking about Sicilians around the piano, which is perfect because Frank de Cesare just chimed in. Nice to see you, sir. I, I'm sure you are. I, I, these guys had some vintage gear and they were melding it with some, like they, they took a 16 millimeter, an old camera 
And they put it on a giant drone. And they rigged it all up so they could like watch through the viewfinder and control things. But they could only shoot for like, they had to manually wind up the camera with a crank and it would shoot for like 20 seconds or something, which is a long time for a 16 millimeter, I would imagine. That's, I mean, that's, that's a scene, right? You get 20 seconds. And they got really great results. I'd like to say hi to show business kingpin Richard Lambert out there. Rich, you got a new roof this year, didn't you? In your, uh, Richard Lambert owns a production house, a, a live venue for, for the performing arts. And... Uh, so he's yeah, he's also one of the hats he wears is he you know he's got a building over there and maintains it and uh, we were just talking about roo a roof over at uh, my other place my shop where we do our set design and everything it's it's close to uh, I forgot the name of it there's a a theater near us and. Uh, Z Biggs out there. As opposed to coming to America, this is my family. About this, this like Mary and Frederick are so involved. They're so involved in their own conversation. It's, a, <laughs> so it's amazing. That's how casual they are about being on TV. Real pros. Frederick, what do you, what do you think of things? Oh la la. Did you have a, a good week since the lounge cadets saw you? I did, but we're we not supposed to talk about politics here, so I don't know. No, this politics is this is, is the tricky. this is a politics-free zone. Yeah, politics-free. I like that because otherwise, yeah. we talk about historical yeah. issues. Yeah, That's what we're talking about, about there. Actually, I'm a politics-free zone, so it's because I'm here. So that be, I don't enforce it anywhere else. But here, this is no, a good place. This is a good place to it's enforce wise. it. In many countries, it has nothing now, to do with what we do here, where well, we absolutely. celebrate the Great American Songbook. That's true. And an observation, even where I come from in Europe, you, you, it's become so charred centrifugally oh. that it's a, you can't have a discussion. It, it's immediately back, and it's, it's, it's a good rule mm -hmm. because you lose friendships for no reason. It's like everybody's family fighting all the time, right? You can pick your friends, but you can't pick your family, somebody said, right? Yeah. Anyway, well, that's, that's true. <laughs> What's a mama boards, George Apple? How about you, Mary? Mary always has something to say. In fact, she never doesn't have something to say. I mean, that's a more accurate way to what put it. What was the question? I don't even have one. Oh. What do you? Lint. Oh. She she's, even want yeah. To talk about Lint. yeah, she's at the Statler drinking these like kitty cocktails. <laughs> she gave up fun for Lent. <laughs> no, I just I have a complicated system of sacrifices and one of them. <laughs> I, they're pathetic. I'm not good. Well, I'll give up <laughs> mine, Howard. I, I gave up for Lent all temptation. I don't resist any up. temptation anymore. That's it. Wow. That'll be a well, that, 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 is a, that is a sacrifice I'll because because, because there's this. such dire consequences to, to doing that. I, Gain I, weight, I don't know, make gaffes, uh, political, <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Huh? So about has anything happened in the lounge world to report this week? Well, I discovered a new singer today. I was listening to that singer, Gloria, Miss Gloria Lynn. Yeah, you know I, that I heard a little bit. She was really laid her. back and nice. Very nice voice. And she grew up in Harlem. She's, uh, I, come, I, no I stopped home us. to get the lunch I forgot. Yeah. And I'm in this big, you know, kind of rush because I felt behind and getting ready for tonight. So it's a, like everything always happens like for a reason and for the worst circumstances. So I come in and I'm in this big like nervous rush and she's trying to introduce me to this new this new old I was singing artist. I Gloria Lynn singing The Gloria Folks Lynn's. Who Live on the Hill and it took her five whole minutes mm. just to, to start sing singing. the first word <laughs> to, to, then, then to sing the oh, second she word. She was the most laid back thing. So 
It was not it, always. Some of her things are up tempo. But the comments section on the YouTube videos that I was watching, there were all these people saying, "Gee, I've been a jazz fan my whole life. I have never heard this woman. She's wonderful. I'm out to start getting her." Yeah, I've never heard of her before. What's wonderful her? I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it Gloria up. Lynn with an E on the end, L Y N N E. Gloria Lynn. But I was out the other night singing, and there was three women this that showed I have up. One more professional than the other, and I took, I, I, I videoed them on my telephone. <laughs> Extraordinary. Extra. Where was that? Uh, it was at the Ulrichs. 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 Oh, I love Ulrichs. Yeah. But they were okay, off the Richter scale. Oh my goodness. And wow. And one of them sang it. I wonder if they've been there since they opened. Not a home when I didn't oh, nice. oh, the Burt Bacharach? Oh, House is Not a Home. Oh. Yeah. A I, lovely you know, song. That's what I did this week that, that, that was Bert unusual Bacharach, for me. Is right. I actually, you know, I've always liked Burt Bacharach, but I mm. never really like took the time to purposely listen to his stuff and kind of, you know what I mean? Like I always got it secondhand, like through Lounge Cadet George Kunz, yeah, and, and, I, and I, I learned to, to love a lot of his songs and to really respect him. And, and we, we saw him when you, you were yeah, reviewing Yeah, I interviewed that. him that Took time. Me I along wish I had no when, more. When you interviewed him and everything. And uh, so then this week, I, I said, you know what, I gotta, I, I purposely looked up on, on YouTube, uh, to, to see if there was a documentary on him. Oh, oh, I'd love to see a documentary on Burt Bacharach. And I, wa I watched it. And oh, so there it, is one. It's great. And, and uh, I'm, you know, I'm starting, I'm getting, acquiring, you know, an, enough knowledge about his music to appreciate it more and more. He's brilliant. Yeah. What are some of his most famous songs? We're talking about Burt Bacharach. Elfie. What's that all about? Elfie. Yeah, that's a beautiful song. Yeah, sing that one. Then it just goes through all these. The melody is unusual. This stuff is. What's it all about? Yeah, sing that nice I'll, I'll do it. I, it's, it's a song I'd really like to learn. It just takes weird turns. His music, you really have to learn it like you're studying the classics. I mean, that might sound kind of funny, but to, to really do his his music justice. Yeah, it's a nice song. What's the other songs? Um, you have to be a you have to be a great um, singer and really well prepared. What do you get when you fall in love? Oh, great! I sang that at Gary's. Oh, you did? Nice to see Dave Corbett over there. Was a lady named Shirley that sang. Let's and Peter go. Joseph, how are you, sir? Okay. And then you followed it up with what I you said, get. I said, I'm gonna answer. answer. Oh, oh let's answer that. Oh, that he went perfect. Hold my beer, ladies and gentlemen. They want me to start out with a really difficult song. <laughs> Why not? I was watching um, as many people as I could find today, coincidentally, doing Alfie. Oh, isn't that see, it, it, You know, it wasn't recorded by that many people. I think people are afraid of the song. I wonder. It, you know, it's got these intervals and ranges and just... Um, well, it's introspective, too. It's questioning it, your... It requires a lot of... Life. Life. You can't just, yes, like, dial right. it in, you know? Yeah, the and words are... the technical from, part, but then there's the philosophical yeah. part. And it sounds like that, too. It's asking... Yeah. It's doing? the song that asks the question, what's it all about, Alfie? I've seen the movie, I like to see it. What kind of a name is Alfie, anyway? I was watching a, uh, one of the things I watched was an interview with Scylla Black, who most people don't know who Scylla Black was in the U.S., I found. But she was the Gloria Lynn of the rock world. <laughs> yeah, she was a huge star. She was, she was really the female Beatle. She grew up in Liverpool buddies with the Beatles. They yeah. did songs together. Um, she's right up there with them. You know, Too bad they couldn't have played the band. And um, they gave each other a lot of songs. And Burt Bacharach um, called her up. Oh, he called her up. And said, now, we know that Burt always used his singer. So he pulled her right out of high school, right? He His singer that he used the oh. more, the, m most of these four. Oh, Dion Warwick? Dion Warwick. Oh, I forgot the history I talked about. So she was and Hal David. Yes, and he cannot say his name. But he, 
for some reason, he called Silla Black, contacted her, oh. had her contacted. Oh. He didn't contact her. Somebody contacted her. This is how she tells the story. And said, um, uh, Bert Backrack would like you to, to consider recording Alfie. Oh. And she didn't, she didn't want to do it. And she thought, she was saying to her friends, Alfie, first of all, how can I sing a song about, it sounds like, it doesn't sound like, you know, well, I don't want to, I'll let her insult everybody with the name Alfie instead of me repeating it and doing it all over again. What but, did she say? But she said it was hard for her to sing a love song about, she said it's a dog's name. Oh. This was back in the early 60s. Well, I guess the movie was called Alfie and that's why you had to have it, the song had to be Yeah, called. yeah. I mean, she was so wrong. I think he wrote it for but the movie. But she thought, yeah, it was in the it's movie. It's not the other way around. It was actually in the closing okay. title. Yeah, okay. And, but I don't know, she she didn't, she wasn't real keen on the idea, and I don't. Know, I think she was a little intimidated about doing working with Burt Backrack music because it's so demanding. I don't know. And she said, "I'll do it if Burt is there and and directs the session and plays on it." Oh. And she figured she'd never hear back from him again. Oh. And they call back and say, "Yeah, Burt said that's fine." Oh. So they recorded it at Abbey at Apple Records. Abbey Lane Studios, is that? Yeah, Abbey Road. Abbey Road Studios. Yeah. And uh, right where, you know, that's how, because like it's I said, she Leonard was, Pinario she, where Leonard Pinario did and where the Beatles <laughs> recorded. Yeah. And she did, she did this song and um, I guess it created, uh, Dion was really upset. Oh, she was, that she didn't do that, it? Well, she did it, but then so did Scylla. But I think it was more for oh, like the European dance. market, because because yeah. she was I'll big in Europe. Great. So I think it was a way to get this song to the carry R yeah, worldwide. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I'm guessing. So anyway, um, Scylla did. I listened to everybody do it. Cher did it. Oh, Cher is a great singer. Um, I can kind of picture that how she would do it. I can't. I don't see Cher. A lot of great singers yeah, did it, but they didn't. They didn't make big records out of it. Like sometimes they would do it as part of a show. Oh, I see. You know, it wasn't really. Yeah, it like, wasn't some signature. So it wasn't on the album. Yeah. But they did it. Oh, you know, I see. They, they maybe did. as part of a live event or something along with somebody else. Because it was it was so such a signature tune that some songs are hard to do once somebody's really got their stamp on it. Yeah. But. Silla did, Silla did the best. The lyrics are so introspective. It doesn't, I don't see it appealing to a lot of people. Because you don't want to think about that stuff. You want to be entertained. You yeah, want to, you know. What's it all about? What am I? Yeah, that's a good point. What's it all about? You don't want to be challenged oh, like that. What's I don't a, know an Alfie either. You're what, quite right. What's a, Alfie, well, we know an Alfie. Alfie, 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 <laughs> You'll see Alfie. And there's Alfie in The Walking Dead now. That's another Alfie. What's it all about? Alfie, I've ever known. Alfie. Is it just for the moment we live? What's it all about when you sort it out, Alfie? Take more than we give. Or are we meant to be kind? And if only fools are kind. Kind of rambling lyrics. Healthy. <laughs> then I guess it is wise to be cruel. If life belongs only to the strong Elfie, will you land on an old golden road as sure as I be? There's a heaven above Elfie. Without true love. 
love we just exist healthy until you find the love you've missed you're nothing healthy when you walk let your heart lead the way and you'll find love anyway healthy Thank you much, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you next week. <laughs> the great Bert Bacharach, and you cannot say his name without also saying the name of Calvin. You can't. So what I love about Lounge Kid here, the name is Bert Bacharach and Silla Black are spoken. <laughs> Silla Black was great. What a voice she had. Everybody, YouTube Silla Black. C-I-L-I-A. C-I-L. Two L's? C I L L I A. No, just say Silla. Oh, C I L L A. C I L L A. No, that's S C. Oh, yeah, the Greek. Silla, I never thought of it. Black, like the color black. And and put 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 Silla Black Elfie. Yes. Start with that one. It's actually a live video of her, her recording the hit song. Yes, that's a great video. And they do it. Um, they do it all at once. Frederick's like, got to see that video. That is a great they video. They didn't chop it up and do it by tracks. Well, you get to watch the they actually session. performed it live yeah. in, the, in Abbey Road Studios. Beautiful. And she's got the backup singers there and everything. Yeah, and everyone's very... It's really cool. 60-ish. Yes, they're all very bad. Thank you. Jay oh, Anderson's out there. Dress is on. Sound is off. Do we... No, the sound looks like it's on. Let's check and see. See if it's off for everybody, Jay Anderson. Yeah. No, it sounds on, Jake. Give your uh, give your device a uh, a reboot. It usually takes care of it. Yeah, Bill checks in. Hi, Bill. I didn't know you were out there. Nice to see you, sir. This heart of mine. I guess the key right, right? This heart of mine is doing very well. The world was fine as far as Frederick could tell. Suddenly I met you and I dreamed of gay amour. And I woke up singing. Sentimental overture, this heart of mine is dancing gaily now. I taste the wine, I taste the wine of real romancing now. This crazy world has taken on a wonderful design. As long as life endures, it's yours, this heart of mine. Have a good night, Bill Jenkins. Thanks for saying hi.
up singing sentimental overtures in this heart of mine is dancing gaily now I taste the wine of real romancing now this crazy world is taking on a wonderful design as long as life endures it's yours this heart of mine How you doing, Paul Cambria? Nice to see you, sir. You still uh, still at the office? The big news is that Paul Cambria did not buy a racetrack today. Is that true? It's the big news when he does not do something. <laughs> That's how big he is. I think everybody was expecting Paul to buy that place. But... I think either way, I think he, I got a feeling he facilitated somebody buying it. Is that the Lancaster? Lancaster Speedway, because it was really something at risk that couldn't be lost. Yeah. And it was almost lost. Oh. I think his involvement helped, uh, helped find it an owner. Now with the burnouts will continue in perpetuity. <laughs> and that means that... That means people will still buy tires. Nice to see you, Dave Corbett, sir. This is one of the first nights we've had more people in the. More people in the television audience than in the uh, studio audience. It's a great thing, though, and the guy who runs it, That's kind of fun. That's the way it's supposed to be, right? Here's one to all the... So I know we got at least one writer here. Usually there's a lot of writers here. Oh, it's great news, Paul. I think when people saw you had an interest in it and a genuine excitement and a very interesting business plan, I think I think it, it just I think it just amplified the interest. I'll bet a lot of your ideas will be in, in that new place. That's how things work. I hope so. I know the strip club was a great idea to have. A strip, the strip, strip. That was a brilliant idea. Or maybe that was my idea. If they ask me, I'd like to write a book someday. I'm going to get a ghostwriter. I think I know a writer I could get. If they ask me, Frederick would write a book. About the adventures. About the way you walk and whisper. And the way Dave Corbett looks. Well, Paul Cambria, I'm, I'm the guy sitting in the old drag club right now that I bought. So I'm, I've kind of invested in the drags, too. We don't use it for that anymore, but probably would have been making some money if we did. And the simple secret of the plot. Just to tell them that I love you a lot. And the world discovers as my book ends how to make two lovers a 
of friends. Richie Sellers is here, ladies and gentlemen. He's a blues man. Thank you, everybody. Oh, good. Dave Corbett's going to come do a walk on tonight. He's making a request. Sleeping under the stars. I don't know that song. Oh, wait. No, he's going to sleep under the stars. <laughs> he's such a passionate, poetic, per a poetic person, and every time he opens his mouth, it sounds like a song request. <laughs> Am I blue? Am I blue? Aren't these eyes telling you? Am I blue? You'd be too. 
speech plan with your man done fell through. It's a great old testament. There was a time I was the only one, but now I'm the sad and lonely one. Body, am I gay? Till today, now she's gone and we're through. Am I blue? That big blue. Well, it's nice to see you, Rich. Nice to have you around the piano. Nice, nice so we're slowly building our forces. Today. Yeah. Beautiful sunset tonight. Yeah, I can see some Thank of you. it over you there. Yeah, you can. Between those buildings. Log jam they put out there on the lake because it's oh. uh, all flowing now. Because. Oh, well, part of it. Oh, oh, yeah, the boom. Part of it, like, blew the coop. Yeah. Flew the coop, Very right? Nice. Oh, the ice boom? Oh, I didn't know that. It flew the coop. And then, like, mountains this of ice dramatic. came crashing up onto the shore. <laughs> And you know, and you know who caught the video was standing there and caught the dramatic video that they'll be watching for hundreds of years. You? No, but we're, we're, there's a connection. This thing went viral. You know who it was? You don't. I'm going to tell you, and you're going to think it's pretty cool. Our own Tony Monty the Third, whose grandfather painted Choice of Twenty Five on the side of this oh, building. Oh wow! Okay. Oh, I didn't know we knew who painted. Yeah, he came down and uh, introduced himself and brought me menus and oh, told, me the, the tell told me the stories of, of, of this oh, restaurant oh, okay. back in the 40s and oh, 50s. Oh, okay. And, and yes, I remember that. Story. He's, the, he's the guy that got the video. Oh, okay, of the ice boom. He calculated he it. He out. said, if this thing happens and this happens, the ice is going to come. Who would have thought of that? And he's standing there. It was oh. all over YouTube. It got like millions oh, of hits. Because it's the most that. amazing thing is this wave of ice, this mountains formed right before your eyes, pushing park benches out of the way and everything. Oh, my gosh. Huge. Oh, I'll have to watch it. Yeah, Frederick, you walked out. It was really yeah, where to, way to go, Anthony Monty. We're proud of you. <laughs> Hanging in his, his home are the paintings that used to be on these walls when, oh. it, when it was the restaurant. Wow. The Chateau. Yeah. Was yeah, the name of the restaurant. The Be before guy. George Steinbrenner bought it. Photograph, a photographer? The grandson? Um, the not that I know of. Well, but he caught it on I mean, the amateur, way. but he, was down he went out there with his phone. And so he was going there. nuts doing it, and you can't blame him. His excitement was, you know, warranted. No. It sounded, sounded kind of like one, didn't it? Maybe Nick it rings. Oh, good. Nick's here. Paul Kenyon's out there. How are you, sir? Thanks for joining us. Hope you've got a cocktail in one hand, a pet in the other, and your feet up. Don't confuse the pet and the cocktail. I know how pets are. Nick's here, ladies and gentlemen. This day and age we're living in gives pause for apprehension. No matter what the progress, or what the yet may be proved, the simple facts of life are such, cannot be removed. You know what song this is? Is it? Oh yeah, I know. Yes, you got it. Very good. Casablanca, nice. You must remember this. Yes, your favorite movie. A kiss is still a kiss. A sigh is just a sigh. Things they apply 
as time goes by. And when two lovers woo, you ever see lovers woo? They still say, I love you. I'm that you. <laughs> but it's just because I've seen I've He wrote it the whole before. thing. He wrote the words and the oh, lyrics, apparently. What else did he write? I don't know. How can you can't just write one great song? Right. It would be like inventing one Robert nuclear Huffman bomb or something. You, you know, if you you can't do it by accident. You can't really. Yeah. Did you clean the walls? No. Uh, no. Oh, real shiny. Right. It's so light. Well, thank you. <laughs> We're not used to having any light coming in from outdoors. That could be it. Where's uh, Kathy? She Oh. We remember the vacant chair. Maybe we should have held Lounge Academy over at your place. <laughs> Kathy, I hope, uh, I don't believe she's tuned in, but I got a feeling she will. She doesn't like me to say when she does, but she hasn't. She never told me to say that she has not. <laughs> so I could say that. She is not tuned in. Bill Zimmerman did, though. Bill nice to see you, sir. It's about time you're here, Bill. At last, Bill Zimmerman has come along. My lonely days are over, and life, life is like a song. I can speak to 
So many of these songs. Friendship with a, oh. with a woman, man and a woman, friends, right? No big deal, right? However, yes, I know. But I never. When you listen to enough of these love songs, you start wondering if a man and a woman have ever really just been friends. Or if no, one of the two mean, has been had been perpetrating like a fraud upon the yeah, other, right from the very no, start out, yeah. right from the onset, had other things in mind, maybe just oh, feigned thank you. friendship. Thank you. Oh, Richard, nice. We had a yeah. bigger plans. I love Martin Taylor. Thank you. Yeah, what a And then horrible. brings one to wonder: Is that always this? Always the case, and there's never been an innocent friendship really, between a man and a woman. An what do you think, I'm Frederick? Frederick, Frederick, uh, no, he wow. pres- subscribes to the That's notion the that there's really never been a friendship between a man and a woman. Sex always gets in the way. Sex always gets in the way. Yeah, I like when it's 
call myself. I mean, we're not talking yeah. about like office oh, friendships. That's that's it's different. Like we mean we're, we're people. Like they go out to the movies together. They have like best friends, yeah. right? Where they're like. I waste a few pieces that, that, of paper that, here and there. That, that's, that's, what, that's what I'm talking so about. Obviously, I, I'm friends with a lot of women. You know, but we don't. I just enjoy it. But we're not like best. We're not like pals where we hang around together, you know, constantly. As you go through life or whatever, think about if you see something alone. It doesn't exist. I'm always looking for ideas and stuff. Harry Met Sally. Just when you see something like the movie Harry Met Sally. Because it seems like you think the way I do with the water This is the end. Just anything you think, a building that you think is kind of the end. Thanks, Russ. Ross is directing the show, which I appreciate. We need some direction. He says, just play the song. This is, I think I struck a nerve, Ross. Now, I think he's in a quandary wondering if he's really had friendships or whether he was just being played. Somebody might have been trying to make more than a friendship. It's kind of an unknown looking thing. I might just not have known. It's not where the money is, of course. But I like doing This is the end. Of a beautiful friendship. Is that right, Ross? You can't even just be casual friends and have lunch together and stuff at the office? You could still do that, right? Your desks are near each other and stuff? I mean, at the news, I know from Mary's job, living vicariously through her job, they're all friends. Yeah, everybody's friends. They're like, it's a big, big party. Ross Renfold is saying you can't even be friends with women at the workplace anymore. No, very good. Really? Man, that's weird. I mean, not even just like telling each other Things jokes. Things are kind of complicated, though, yeah. I guess. Everyone's afraid. The centrifugal force is so extreme. Like political correctness and Me Too and this and that. It's very difficult. Wow. Well, it's lamentable. I'm glad I'm stuck in the lamentable. 50s. Yeah. This is the end. Of a beautiful friendship. It ended a moment. It ended just a moment ago. We This is the end. Of a beautiful friendship. I know. Told me so. We were always, we were like sister and brother. Till tonight, when we looked at each other.
nice to see Michael Lemick out there, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, they have made it still. I acquired some of those uh, 22 years old coming from Ukraine. Oh, she did? How did she sneak on without, she's being sneaky. She, she didn't show up in green. I didn't even know it. How are you doing, Michael Lemick? Sit back and lounge along with us. Check in from time to time. Have, a, have your favorite beverage in one hand. Um, Cheeseburger in the other, yeah, it is. and your pet on your lap, with your feet up. I've never seen anybody enjoy retirement as much as Michael Emmett, and he deserves it. He served Goodyear customers. Michael Emmett, you know who Michael Emmett is, everybody? Cool. He's a big name in automotive industry in western New York for many decades. He, he managed some of the biggest Goodyear tire stores. Yeah, I've watched him do it. I spent hundreds of hours in those stores with my dozens of cars since 1985 when we first met. Tires always change. Tires change. They just keep on rolling. Thank you, Ronald. You know those uh, little great friends. Here's a Sinatra song for Rush One Fall. Yeah. Actually, most of these are Sinatra songs. A lot of songs were written for Frank. And he did the rest of them, too. Come fly with me. Come fly, let's fly away. You can use some exotic booth. There's a bar in far Bombay. Fly with me. You've been in Bombay. Fly, let's fly away. Fly with me. Let's float down to Peru. a one-man band he'll toot his flute for you fly with me let's take off in the blue once you get up there where the air is rarefied we'll just glide Acapulco Bay, perfect for a flying honeymoon. Russ says, come fly with me, let's fly away.
holding Nick so near. You may hear angels cheer on a kind of we're together weather wise. It's such a lovely day. Just say the word, we'll beat the bird and order a cheeseburger with Mike Emick. It's perfect for a flying honeymoon, they say. Come fly with me. That was for Russ. Maybe it's Kathy Moses. It's Susan Peters, ladies and gentlemen. Susan's in the house. Alan McCausland's watching, along with Don Sutton and Barbara Fisher. You know, it's almost not even dark out. I was noticing how it's like, light what is this? Like the longest. Yeah. Uh, well, it goes until June, so we're two months away from. We're getting closer to the longest yeah, it's certainly it's light thing of the year. Yeah. I saw a cloud. For sure. I say, I'll move the mountains, and I'll move those mountains. If she wants them out of the way. So it's, it's white, right, Nick? They say they want the mountains moved. Sure, I'm crazy, crazy in love, Nick would say. They say I'll go through fire, and I'll go through fire. As she wants it, so shall it be. Crazy 
tough one. Yeah, it's not. I swear I've never heard of these guys. It, I know it's not one of the biggies. Who? Oh. Carl Sigmund. Oh, <laughs> never know that. <laughs> He's the guy that's doing Frederick's taxes, Carl Sigmund. And Bob. Tatuaggio. You're catching me at Bob Tatuaggio. Russell. There's a song that Frederick was singing to myself earlier. Nice to see you, Kathleen. It's about time to start dancing in the dark, Kathleen Bryce Niles. Lossing in wonder of why we're here. Time hurries by, we're here and gone. Looking for the night. Open the clouds and brighten up the night. I have you. Excited that you are here. Beautiful. Well, thanks. Mm -hmm. I sound better when you're not actually in the room. Here's one for Kathy, in case she's stealthily watching. I don't know how she could do that. Certainly couldn't listen without us knowing it. I, I have no. I don't know any way of somebody doing that. Breaking the piano. <laughs> you can eat them and enjoy them. Oh man, I can't wait to have them. 
Steve Stampy and out in the audience. How are you, sir? Thank you. 
Wow, thank you. That's the highest praise. I don't deserve that, but thank you. Here's a song that nobody will know. Isn't it great to see Alan here, Bill Jenkins? Once again, you hold, hold you 
Kathleen Rooney's out there, everybody. Hi, Kathleen. We have record viewership tonight. There's six people watching. We just dropped. Dropped to five. Five is still a record. As far as watching all at once. Watching. This is exciting. You know what? Your daughter's on one of our uh, Lounge Academy mugs this week. You're on a mug. Your mug is on a mug. You'll see it. If you look, if you look through those Lounge Academy mugs, you'll see one of them has uh, your family on there, Nick. I don't know. I gotta look through them and see. There's two pictures on each one. That one. That's the wrong. That's the wrong show. No, it's on there, Nick. You didn't check. Look on both sides of each mug. You'll recognize your own family. Okay, that's not it. Richard. 
Richard Craney's out there from Colorado. Did the weather, did that uh, cold weather pass through? Try that one. That's Mary. Try the one right next to it. No, the other one. That one. Yeah, that's the one. Look at you. No, look at the other. Look at the other picture. It's your daughter and Kathy and Nick. Mary's in there too. Falling in love with love. One night when the moon is full, I wasn't wise with eyes unable to see. I fell in love with the love with love that was lasting. People want to see Gary and you. A foggy day in London town had me low, had me down. I view the morning with a line. The British Museum had just lost its charm. Wonder Can this thing last the age of miracles suddenly I saw you there foggy London town the sun was shining shining everywhere The sun was shining or it doesn't shine. That's how shiny it was. Shining over there. 
Delta Mignon Siano? It is. Yeah, okay. Delta he knows his piano. Delta Mignon. Yeah, right yeah. here. I tried to look at Yeah, because you're on the one at the Canaba. This is the Velta. Oh, yeah, the Velta Mignon. Yeah. It's yeah. a nice piano. They told me it was a... Um, they told me it was a reproducing piano when I bought it. Oh. And... Um, I thought I'd never have to buy another piano again. I thought it would, it would propagate. No, I would have made a piano. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> Germany and New York. I, what can I say? Oh, Germany. It sounds like Germany. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I did yeah. the morning with money. Not a Steinway. Is it the bag sale? Not a Steinway. Well, Trevor just got a award for the Oh, 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 oh I saw that. Congratulations. Oh, wow. oh they, thank you. Well, you know, they, uh, I was hoping it was going to be so good. I will learn it. Yeah. I love something, so I love green, though. I'm I'm green. Green. I will learn it. I do love it. It's a much older one. Oh, I love that song. I don't know if I think I got five more keys to play here. Does it? Yeah, it's a piano. I'll play it a lot. Thank you. It's the first release I've taken on. Oh, okay. I like that. Oh, okay. I'll do Westbrook this year. But I didn't get the bank. This is a passionate song by a passionate man, Cole Porter. Speaking of passionate men, there's George Barrymore signing on, and guy, guys here too. How are you, sir? Nice to have you on board. Are you trucking or are you at home with your feet up? Get out of town. Have you heard that one? Yeah, cool. Well, this is a big night. Missy and Jack. It's Missy and Jack. Ladies and gentlemen, try to just act normal. Get out of town before it's too late, my love. Get out of town.
from tents. This is the tent. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, these are, this is, these are the beautiful. This is these are the beautiful. Oh, yeah. Oh. I think I, oh. I, this one. looks like Bononi or something. Yes, <laughs> it's, it's, it's very awesome. Yeah. No, I like it. I like the. I don't know. Corbin Tan. I don't believe in. Fred and I grieve him. Maybe we'll do something from a, uh, from a movie. emotions, you know, <laughs> brings off those things that have been locked away. And don't let us leave without our coffee mugs. <laughs> oh, no. We we've, we've, we've got, we've, we've got <laughs> some. Did you get the mugs? No. Did you get the mugs? We've got some new ones here, too. No, we want the, we want the official's green ones. Yeah, well, you got it. The official's green We've discussed this for hours. Two tingles. I, 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 I,
Thank you, Rich. It's a kick no, no, from no, no. champagne.
Bud Cole Porter, too? No, no. I like the Bob type refrain. I'm sure that if I had even one riff, it would bore me terrifically, too. A lot of words for that song. I get up. <clears throat> you give me a thrill. <laughs> This is what happens if you make, if you make plans. So I shouldn't make any. I guess I'll have to change my plans. I should have realized there'd be another man. I overlooked the point completely. Until the big affair began Before I knew where I was at I found myself up on a shelf And that was that I tried to reach the moon But when I got there all that I could get was the air. My feet were on the ground. I've got the one girl, one girl I found. It's like those lounge academy. Those mugs are going over big, Mary. We're down to only, what, five of those Lounge Academy mugs. Where do they all disappear to? Guess I have to change my plan. Realize there'd be another man. I've overlooked that point completely. Till the big affair began. It reminds me of this song for some reason. <laughs> I had the craziest dream last night. Yes, I did. I never dreamt it could be There you were You were in love with me I saw your lips next to mine So I kissed you You didn't mind it at all A break can never happen. How long can a guy go on dreaming? How long, Bill Jenkins? If there's a chance that you care, then please, please say you do, my baby. Say it and make my my crazy dreams true.
Oh, yes. We look really large on the video. That sounds great, Kathy. Your daughter's around here someplace, too. Not to mention Nick. I saw your face on a mug, too. I think somebody talked out with that
let's defrost in a romantic mist. Let's get crossed off everybody's list to celebrate this night. We found each other. show called 17. 
This was for the 1952 production. We probably think we could meet halfway. Well, no, if they were to do that. Oh, thanks, Nick. I'm glad you like them. Good ones from this staff right here. It's faster than if you were driving. Yeah. Do you remember the Yes. So she's talking about. So I used to live in Atlanta. I was like, I gotta go. And she's talking about the film. So. So. It's a beautiful song. Buddy <laughs> Kay and Billy Reed. Title. Title tune on a. Mark Murphy record. I'll close my eyes to everyone but you. And when I do, I'll see you standing there. I'll walk my that I love you. Tell me, do you love me too? I'm confessing that I need you. Honest, I do. 
need you more than ever. In your eyes I read such strange things. But your lips deny their truth. I'm afraid someday you'll leave me Saying, can't we still be friends? If you go, I know you'll grieve me All in life on you depends of you in vain I'm confessing that I love you over again It's kind of a timeless song, isn't it? I mean, it sounds, you know, early jazz, but it's something somebody would come along and do today, I think. Well, it's music. If they appreciate good music, of course. Yeah, of course. Today's noise. Susan, did you bring any, like, parchment? We We've got your stuff here. Come up whenever you want. You look so relaxed. I hate that. When you're not relaxed, come on up. With homes that are rented, I have invented my own. Darling, this place is a lover's oasis. Big old 
world's sugar cakes for me to take for all the boys to see. somebody who's really great. That's you? Yeah. Oh, that'd, that'd be, actually, that'd be, that'd be fine with my rear end. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, we present Jay Anderson and Susan Peters. Watch this. Hold my beer and watch this. This is an original tune called Lament for the Singer. He sang for his supper. He sang for his ill. He sang when he had beer. But the songs he sang that fear broke the heart were the wails of the funeral dirge. He sang for the poor and the lowly to pray for their heavenly rest. He sang for the rich and the righteous all their glories to express. 
He was there at the home when they waked him, there at the church singing mass. He was there at the graveside singing, whether or not being asked. He sang for his supper, he sang for his ale, he sang when he had the urge. But the songs he sang that fair broke the heart were the waves of the funeral dirge. Sprinkle the holy water, stop all the clocks. When the curtains are drawn in this wake house, lock up the music box. There won't be any more singing, for the singer's lips have grown cold. And the beauty and joy that his music had made will never more be told. He sang for his supper, he sang for his ill, he sang when he had the urge. But the songs he sang that fair broke the heart were the winds and funeral dirt. When it came time to lay down the singer, there was no one to sing him the song of the beauty and joy that his music had made, of a love that lives the day long. But it's there in the lowly bird song, there in the tolling bell. There in the memory of his voice and his music's magic spell. He sang for his supper, he sang for his ale, he sang when he had the urge. But the songs he sang that fear broke the heart were the wails of the funeral dirge. Shillelagh. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. Who's going to sing for him? <laughs> you know, that's the thing. You know, it's one of those, you know, yeah. It's one of those yeah. songs within a song. Yeah. Oh, what's that? Okay, how about the body one? Yes. <laughs> Wait, let me remember the melody. Uh, bloody song. <laughs> 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 I can only hear that song for a second. I get it. My brain clears up. It happens to me all the time. And then I wake up in the morning and breathe. <laughs> Will he be wonderful? Will he be wild? Will he want me for his wife? Will he's an assaholic? And he will be all his life. They tell me I'm a I'm sorry, I'm I'm humming, 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 humming. We'll be back with you shortly, ladies and gentlemen, while I remember that too. I'm like totally just full of the melody of it. I got my washing. You know, it'll come with me. That's what happens when you write your own tunes. You can't get a video when she can't get a video. Okay, here we go. I'll start with the verse instead of the refrain. They tell me I'm a bonny lass with a mouth just meant for swigging. Flowing tresses, lovely dresses, and ample supple rigging. In sunny Lackawanna lives the laddie I adore. I'd be there at his beck and call, but he thinks me a drunken whore. Oh, will he be wonderful? Will he be wild? Will he want me for his wife? Will he's an assaholic, and he will be all his life. 
I don't step out with other gents I've seen beneath the kilt. There's no way of sticking that in me up to the hilt. I don't mind the caressing, but that homely log of wood will spit and drool, and then you know it leads to motherhood. Oh, will he be wonderful? Will he be wild? Will he want me for his wife? Will he's an assaholic, and he will be all his life. Well, now he's gone and changed his mind and offered me a ring. And the only thought that's in my head is, I don't know how you walk around with that thing. <laughs> There's no way to deny it. He's a handsome, strapping knave. But should the truth be truly told, it's his sister that I crave. Oh, will he be wonderful? Will he be wild? Will he want me for his wife? Will he's an assaholic? And he will be all his life. Touche. Yeah. It's another original tune. It's a little harder to run. Yeah. Great. That was Susan Peters. That was that was original material. I I had no idea what was coming up. It certainly it's amazing. I didn't know her her material covered such a, such a wide uh, spectrum. Did you? Yeah. Okay, who's who's still out there? I think we suddenly looks like Car like Lizzie Lizzie's tuning in now too, and Maxine might still be out there. Well, what did you think of that, Maxine? I I, I had no idea what she was going to do. It's always something great. She's a, she wrote that song. 
surprise. I've never heard that before. It took me by surprise. How do you follow that? You gotta do some John Belby to follow that one. Right? It's John Belby. <laughs> but to do some chorus of Eat Flight. Though I know that we meet every night.
Thanks, Richard. Let's do that Irving Berlin tune. Is valid? What'll I do? Just to let the music hit the other one. It's a great one. Oh, it's a beautiful, beautiful song. Oh, what a song. Here, I've got it's like yeah. nine pages here. But, oh. you know. Gee, I, I, I think I got it on a sheet somewhere, but okay, well. Uh, David Vernon does this song. Great cabaret artist in New York. He has, he does the ultimate version of this song. Excuse me. I'm trying to do I mean, his male vocalist <laughs> category. <laughs> nice day, <name>, though. <laughs> Give me a little intro. A little intro, okay. So there's like, this was like a flight plan. I know. But I'm only doing the. That's okay. These are big boy, big boy charts. Yeah. Two verses. I wish I had mine. I've got this on like a sensible, read readable thing. What do I do? I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it. I'll give it a quick, a quick look. I'll just look through the stack of 10,000. I, I printed it out once because I wanted to work on it because it I liked the way Dave did it. <laughs> Once upon a time. <laughs> I'm fumbling through paper, ladies and gentlemen. Boy, there's a lot. Of, well, there's a lot of paperwork. When, when's the When's April fifteenth? I think I'll be ready. Hang on. Okay, we'll use your charts. Unless it's in like. Right there. there was another place where we stayed in a hostel, and I had to go to the bathroom. We wanted to go to the job, and we had to walk across a rope bridge. What book is this? Why is there a copy on this? I've been immersed in algebra with Pizzazz. So Joe Bowdo told a joke at Sparks, Sportsman's Wednesday. When I was up at the mall, ready to sing, he said, What's the difference between beer nuts? And beer nuts. Beer nuts are about a dollar fifty. Beer nuts are under that thought. So I'm singing out of remember April and I thought of another joke to build on that joke. So when She's I was singing, jokes. I said to Joe, I love that part of the What else do you find out there about? A lot of dough. She's telling jokes, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I found it. Look at here. It's like it's like a, a recipe card. It has the whole thing. Why do you need all this? What the hell? No. Oh, okay. All right. All right. You're watching the magic as it happens. They're the same key? Yes. Thank goodness. Wait a minute. The verse is in 8th flat. Chicago. 
Let's see, where is it so when it goes into the thing? A, no, this is three flats. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe does it change for a... Okay, we'll use yours after all. Okay, no big deal. Sorry, I'll just, you know. I mean, these are the things you're supposed to be able to read. It's just as hard to... Yeah, okay, it's no problem. I just thought I had
cheer up everybody. That's a beautiful song. This was a very How's that going? Could be. Could be it came up in the book. You were playing it. That's a great tune. Well, 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 Thanks, everybody. The TV land. That's Susan Peters. Taking re we're doing requests here. That's why we're looking up the songs. Yes, he did. Yes, I know. And we found it. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Richie Sellers will be on the other side of the camera next week, he's announcing. For those keeping score. Gotcha. Uh, yeah. More sensitive. It is. How do you want to do it? Up. I could I could comp that fast. Oh, let's do it now. I, I just can't like solo it that fast. Southern sky, watch me with my million eyes, singing the sheep over by of the leaves. Cover me with skies of blue. Let me dream a dream or two. Sing me to sleep, lullaby of the leaves. Well, I'm breathing along with the breeze, hearing a song through the trees. That pine melody caressing the show, familiar to me, I've heard it before. Oh, oh, oh. Feel that soft land in my soul, then I know I've reached my goal. Sing me to sleep, lullaby of the leaves. Yeah, it's we wicked fast. You have to be like, you have to be like yeah. Cash Cunningham to, to do those words, right? <laughs> 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 
It's a good tune, you know, man. You should hear Wally. It's like an auction. Wally loves this tune. You do, I remember April. I don't remember. <laughs> Let's find it here. I remember April 15th. <laughs> Tax deadline. You're already done. I know, but it's it's so drilled into my head. My dad was. Wow, nice stop. That's why she was in show business. Really? I didn't know that. It means we're at the like play it like a maniac. This must have been before he met Al Tinney. Mm -hmm. Yeah, women always get screwed over in these books. Susan, that was fun. There was, I'll remember April, performed by Susan Peters. That's right, Kate Schwindler. Always check in, I'm glad you do. I was starting to worry, I didn't see you. Here's one for Kate Schwindler. I'm old fashioned. I love the moonlight. 
I love the old, I love that old fashioned stuff. The sound of rain upon my window pane. Starry song that April, April sings. This year's fancy, our passing fancy, but sighing, sighing, holding hands, these my heart understands. But I don't mind it It's how I want to be As long as you agree To stay old-fashioned with me people that like old stuff. I like old stuff. This book's also for people that like to read very tiny print. Love is a simple thing. Love is a silly ring. Shiny as a ribbon ball. Soft as a quiet snow. Love is a nursery rhyme. It's beauty. Old with the tick of time. Love is a many thing. Bright as an angel's wing. Gentle as a morning light. Long as a winter night Love makes an old heart sing Fills every empty space Love is a warming place Love is a simple thing That's love is a simple thing 1952. It's a relatively new song. You're welcome, Kate. Thank you, Jack. You're welcome. That's good. Where is this? Somebody has a car. Jack applauded. Let's see. Don't you? Well, I'm keeping track here. Here, keep your stuff. Sing your, your permanent record. Here's a nice song. If anybody's out there. Even if not, if they're out there, it's still a nice song. 
A country dance was being held in a garden. I felt a bump in her throat. Beg your pardon. Suddenly I saw polka dots and moonbeams all around a pug nose dream. The music started. And was I the perplexed one? I held my breath and said, May I have the next one? In my frightened arms, polka dots and moonbeams sparkled on a hog nose dream. There were questions. Questions, but my heart knew all the answers, and perhaps a few things more. Now, in a garden filled of lilacs and laughter, I know the meaning of the words ever after, and I'll always see. Polka dots and moonbeams When I kiss a pug nose dream When I kiss a pug nose dream Polka dots and moonbeams Thank you, Jack. His name is Nick. And he said he's going home. I said his name is Nick. Nick said he's going home. He put on his walking shoes. Show how you walk, Nick. There he goes. He's walking. Nick Moses, ladies and gentlemen. I think so. Why don't you do your uh, solo job? Your, your solo one. El Capola. We won't Fool that I am. In love with you. He's teaching it to me. Oh, you were? Yes, you're listening. Oh, yeah, my oh, that I, I wish I had your resonance. I really do. He's got a. Yeah. How do you have all these, you know, big, big voice in there? Big sinuses or something. Oh, 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 oh that I am. Falling in love with you. 
You need a ladder? You all make one. You do all the We've been doing it for, you know, 2,000 years now. Nick's going to do his big number, ladies and gentlemen, Barbara and Kate, Phil Jenkins, Bob Maggio. Talk about big singers out in the audience. How are you, Bob? Nice to see you out there. Your, your wife must be busy this week with tax week. And how's Ann, Bob? She's probably losing her mind doing taxes. exercises. You're all good for Backwards. All right. No problem. You're standing on the wrong side of the mic stand. That was good, Nick. And you got, I love it. He's got that, so much voice. It's amazing. You should study. That's where I was trying to get my voice. Okay, did it still have a name? Yep. Oh, that was cool. I just, but of course you understood his roommate did not. Nice. No, I understand. I still got that, that coupon to cash in. Yeah, I got a coupon like last week or the week before. It's, it's still in there. I didn't want to lose it because I lose things. What the hell? He's dancing now. Thank you, Nick. Thank you, Nick Moses, ladies and gentlemen. Nick took it away, because Kate told him to. Oh, yeah, Still, those are new. Yeah, 
aren't they? I'm trying to capture that that lounge feeling, you know. Each one tells a story. Thank you, Susie. Let's rehearse. That would be so fun. That will be. We'll do that sometime. I'd love to do. Be fun. Well, we can't let it be that, but well, we could, we could be, have it be really great, though. Yeah. You don't have one with Lady Jan yet. That one's at the printer. Our day will come. And we'll have everything. We'll share the joy falling in love can bring. No one can tell me that I'm too young to know. I love you so. It's dark in here. Our day will come if we just wait a while. No tears of for us. Think love and wear a smile. Our dreams have nothing because we always stay in love that way. Our day will come. Our day will come. Because we're at Lounge Academy. With you and me. That's a nice tune. Betty's out there. Yeah, he does have velvet. Nick, I wish I had, I wish I had his voice, his sound production. Our day is here for crying out loud. That's right, Susan. It's our day, even though it's night. Thanks, Susan. They love the song at home. Everyone's going nuts. Bye, Nick. Say hi to Kathy. I love the looks of you. The war of you, the sweet of you, the pure of you, the eyes, the arms, the mouth of you, east, west, north, and that south on you. Of at least a small percent of me do. I love all of you.
He made his lunch while he was doing it. He did everything himself. I'd like to say goodnight to Marino and Alan. school night. Yeah. <laughs> See, where's that? <laughs> He's rewriting my jokes. <laughs> okay. How is that natural gas or propane? It's natural. It's good stuff. Top quality. It's, the best. it's from fracking. <laughs> it's the best fracking uh, natural gas you could ever make. Natural fracking. Natural yeah. <laughs> They use TNT and stuff and water pressure. There it is. Somehow the prices didn't go down though. You notice that? This is why this is why it's good. Because we have to support the savers and the bills. Yeah. Well I wish I knew what he knew. <laughs> Not about sports. Yeah. I probably do know what he knows about sports. <laughs> you I don't know anything about sports. Christina Epps is watching TV. She's got her arm up. Showing off how good it is. At the end of her arm is a big drink. It's a big drink. Because she's Christina Apt. She knows how to lounge. She writes the books. She does the radio shows. Homes and homes. What's a home? When she drives Shane's four speed. Not sure which two are actually watching at the moment. <laughs> when, I'm home, when I'm home, I'm stalking. People used to make love to Johnny Carson. So. <laughs> wow. My mother used to iron the Johnny Carson show. <laughs> My parents used to make love. <laughs> Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. My parents never watched the Johnny Carson show because they considered it. When are the world <laughs> is a hopeless jumble and the raindrops tumble all around heaven opens its magic way. You know, this is the first you all know this song, but you probably don't know the verse. When all the clouds darken up the skyway, there's a rainbow highway to be found. We Somewhere over that 
that big crazy rainbow <laughs> way, way up high. There's a whole land that I heard of once in a while. a star and wake up where the clouds are far behind me where troubles melt like lemon drops away upon the chimney tops that's where you find me somewhere Why can't I? <laughs> Thank you, everybody. It was, it was not until I was in college that I realized that this is a very I was like, you're not the Kelly. Because you thought it was like, I don't know if black women were black women. I always seen the black women was technical. Yes. Thank you, Kate. Glad you're glad you're out there enjoying it. That is a classic, written by a Buffalonian. Thank you, David. It's a pleasure lounging with you this evening. I got my mattress over my house. You got your mattress? I tried a mattress in the room of my car. No, I didn't see that yet. Is it out there? You drove here with a mattress on your roof? You can't read a book? I mean, the stars. I figured you'd pick up a few guys and help carry it up. Is the house and I've got it over here. Nice. Malcolm can handle it. It just did something with Malcolm over here. Yeah, we'll interject Malcolm in your next tune here. Malcolm's at Lounge Academy. And he's going to carry a mattress up Dave's stairs. Is there really a mattress on the roof of his car? No. No, it's in the house now. Oh. I thought he drove over with a mattress. It's like, like an RV. <laughs> It'd be hard.
hard to get a mattress into that. Did you help him get the mattress in? Yeah, yeah. You got to go up those things and make that hard left. Or you go up like a front door or something. You need a split box spring. You can't take the whole thing. Take the box spring, chop it in half with a supplement. You'd have to, yeah. Get one with a hinge. You're out of something. Well, thanks for thanks for lounging with us. Oh, oh thanks, thanks, appreciate it. Yeah, I do. I also do. Oh, you do. Oh, well, I appreciate the compliment. Oh, nice. It's a, it's not, it's not a Steinway. It's a Welty Minya. This various thing. Yeah. It was New New York and Germany. Yeah. Just you know. Even Steinway is German. Yeah. Steinway. Is, I wish it wasn't Steinway. Well, it was nice meeting you, Malcolm. Yes. Like a fool's Malcolm believed what I wanted to believe. My foolish hearts can see what foolish hearts can see. Log of 
Lounge Academy. Yeah. Well, you know, we're at, we're about at that four. We're about at that uh, four hour thing. Yeah. All right. We're gonna do the national anthem and and that'll that'll uh, conclude broadcasting for the day. This morning. What did I do when I woke up this morning? We got to write a blues song. Help me out there, Kate. Before you leave, Kate, help me write a blues song. What's it going to be about? I woke up this morning. What was pretty blue? You felt pretty blue. Oh. I woke up this morning. And I felt pretty blue I said I woke up this morning And I felt pretty blue I never felt pretty before But I felt pretty blue Tell Kate about it. Richie? Get right into that mic. This morning, and I was that big blue. I said, I woke up this morning, I was that big blue. I don't remember what happened, but I know there was a lot of lounge going on. What was it like, Richie?
for the national anthem. Yeah. Very nice. Thank you, everybody. That concludes an evening of broadcasting on WBIG TV. We concluded with the national anthem. For Richie, big star of Sellers. Well, thank you, Barbara Fisher. We loved lounging with you tonight and always. Appreciate that you are with us. We should all do that this summer. We should go to the house. We'll, we'll see you again, uh, we'll see same us. place, same we'll station, like next Friday night, and we'll, we'll do it all again. Good night, everybody. Good night, Barbara. Good night, Kate. Good night, Steve Graham. If you're out there. I will now take. I will now take the finger that can propel us into the ether. And I will use this finger only for good. I will press the button and we will we'll just disappear. Here we go. Bye, everybody. We had a ball. We're getting a lot of fingers and hearts and smiling and wows going up the screen there. That's really great. Here we go. Here comes the the other finger. Bye, Barbara. Bye, Kate.